Year two under Marin Walseth as the NDSU women's basketball coach is underway. And only three weeks into practice, the improvement from this year's team is already apparent. Our, the en enthusiasm, the communication, the energy is at, is at a much higher level than it was consistently last year. Uh, so I'm very, very happy with that and that's a direct relation to us asking to give the kids more of themselves for their teammates. For senior captains Morena Whittle and Holly Johnson, last year was the most wins they've had in their time at NDSU. And they are motivated to show that last year was just the beginning. We play a lot of minutes together and I think that we just really want to show what we're made of. We want to show how good of, of a team we are as a whole and I think that that hasn't shown in the past few years and I think we have the opportunity to, to show some people this year. If the Bison wants to find that success, they will need to replace what first team all Summit League performer Brooke Lamar did at the point guard position. The Bison believe they have the pieces in freshman guard Megan Gamble and Taylor Thunstead who was voted to last year's Summit League All-Newcomer team. Taylor is a point guard and has been a point guard, as has Megan. Um, the beauty of the triangle offense is we don't need one person to only handle the ball. I know that Megan has confidence in her handle and we have other guards who can handle the ball as well. Another lift to the offense is the returning of three of the Bison's top four scorers from last year's team, along with the addition of Kennedy Childers an ESPN three-star recruit. I mean, with the freshmen coming in, I think they're going to have a pretty big impact with our team this year. Um, I mean, I think it's. I think we'll be able to make up points, her points, I'm not, I'm not going to say easily, but I mean, it's going to happen. I know it will. The Bison also bring in junior college transfer Brianna Jones. The Indianapolis native stands in at six foot one and has the athletic ability to be a big time help on the defensive side of the ball. She's already blocked a few shots uh, of our practice guys and you know that's not something that happened regularly last year. It, it really gives some of the perimeter players who are still learning or maybe a little less comfortable, uh, it gives them a little bit more confidence to I, I can make a mistake because there is somebody in the middle who can, can help me. The women's basketball team begins their season with an exhibition game against Minnesota Crookston on November 5th at 7 p.m. in the Benson Bunker Fieldhouse. For GoBison.com, I'm Brett Roy.